Today I'd like to take a look at and demonstrate how to graph a scatter plot, an XY scatter plot in Google Sheets. It's similar to Excel, and I have a video that explains how to do it in Excel, but uh, Google Sheets is just not quite as smart as Microsoft Excel, and so it's not quite as intuitive and um, not quite as easy to do. But uh, it still can be done uh, pretty painlessly and pretty quickly, um, and so I wanted to demonstrate how to do that and how to make a scatter plot with some data. Uh, I've collected some uh, global land ocean annual average temperature anomalies, and I uh, obtained this from uh, NASA's website. And this is the degrees in Celsius that the temperature was above or below, and these all happen to be above, the global average for land and ocean temperatures. So we're going 2000, 2005, all the way to 2019. That was the last year that was available when I made this video. Um, they obviously have years going back further than this and the years in between, but for simplicity and just for demonstration, I just picked uh, every five years basically from the last 20 years. And so um, to start, I, I one, I have to have a table here. I know that this table doesn't have a title, um, so don't please don't judge me on my table, but uh, I need to have the data collected somewhere. And so these are the values that I want to graph. So I'll go ahead and highlight these, and I'm gonna go to insert and then chart. And uh, I definitely don't want this type of graph. I want to use uh, a scatter plot graph. And we use a scatter plot graph when both of our uh, X and Y values are going to be numerical numbers. Um, it works really well for that and really doesn't work in other situations. So you need both uh, your X and Y dependent independent variables to be numeric numbers. And I can see here that this doesn't seem right. Something seems wrong here. In Google, um, either I didn't give it enough information or it's not quite smart enough to be able to make the changes. The trick, what I need to do here to get this to look correct and to graph correctly is um, I need to check this box here that says switch rows columns. And I'll check that. And then magically look at that. It looks much more accurate or more what we would probably expect to see um, where this data point is um, the 0.39 for the year 2000 and then 0.99 for the year 2019. But I still have a problem. There's no numbers on my x-axis. I've got to have the numbers on the x-axis that indicate what the years are. And so if I go back over to my little setup chart editor, I see there's a, a space to add an x-axis. So I'll click that. And I can either type it in and search for it, or I can click this little box and it'll allow me to select a range. So I'm gonna do that now. So I'll go and I'll click, and I want all of these to be my X axis. So C5 to G5, I'll press okay. And then there it goes, it adds in the year. So I got 2000, 2005, 2010, 2015. And then this one uh, would be the 2019. I probably would want to modify my axes a little bit. So I have a little bit more uh, Y axis space above this point, and then a little bit more space on the X axis um, to show the 2019. So let's go ahead and do that. Go to customize, chart, horizontal axis, and we'll go minimum value, we'll keep it at 2000, and we'll go maximum to 2020. So there we go, that makes that a little easier to see. Actually, let's change this to 1995. And then we wanna go and do the same thing for our vertical axis. We'll go zero, and then we'll go 1.25. There we go. So now I'm able to better see where my data is at and spread. Um, the other part that we would need to add is uh, a correlation line. And a correlation line is going to look at the different data points, and it's going to assess uh, how connected or associated they are, how correlated they are. And to do that, if I click on series, I'll see I only have the one data series here, but if I had multiple data series, there would be options here. I can change the color. Um, I can change the point shape. Maybe I want to go a triangle. And then what I want to add here is this trend line. So it's going to create a trend line. And right now it's linear, which is what I want. Um, and I can change some of the, the characteristics of the line. Um, but it will indicate uh, 
uh, based off of these points, uh, it'll indicate how closely associated they are. And more specifically, if I show this R squared value, it gives me a value and correlations are measured on a scale of uh, zero to one or negative one. And a very, very strong correlation is one or, or negative one if it were going in the opposite direction. So I can see this is a very strong correlation, which indicates that these two values that we're looking at are very closely associated. Um, as our year goes up, our temperature, average temperature nominally goes up. Um, and so then my next steps would be to add in a title and to add in some uh, uh, axes titles. And how I would do that is um, under my horizontal axis, um, I'm sorry, chart axis and titles. Here I could add a title. And then I can also change the horizontal axis and the vertical axis. And I could label those to indicate what it was that I'm looking at. Um, so that's how to make a scatter plot graph. Hopefully that helps to clear up any questions or difficulties that you maybe have had. And uh, hope that was helpful.